Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from Mellanox. We have the VP of Marketing, Galad Shainer. Galad, welcome back once again. Thank you very much, and thanks for hosting me. Yeah, well, well thanks thanks for coming on, Galad. You know, we were talking before we started the uh, the recording here about, uh, you know, some trends in the data center. And I thought, why don't we go through your deck here about this new modular switch, and uh, we'll do a Q&A at the end. Sound good? Sounds great. Um, so Melnox is uh, announcing uh, a new solution that we call Virtual Modular Switch Solution, which uh, provides the most efficient 40 gigabit Ethernet aggregation switch solutions. Uh, you know, traditional data centers or Ethernet, traditional Ethernet data centers typically are built on a modular switch solutions for the Ethernet uh, infrastructure. Um, the main problem around that is that those solutions are, are typically very expensive from one side. On the other side, you don't have the, the needed flexibility in the sense that if you want to add a few more servers or stores to the data center, you need to, to buy another big modular switch so that you know, there is a big expense around it. So it's, it's expensive, it's not flexible, and it's outdated you know, very, very fast, and then you need to uh, change again what you have. So what we're seeing in the industry, and that's definitely reflecting reports from different analysts, is that the sales of modular switches is on the decline. It's going down. And on the other end, the, the usage of top of rack switches increases very, very fast. And the reason is that people prefer to use top of rack switches for building their Ethernet infrastructure because of cost, because of flexibility, because they can modify that with, uh, with the technology, and because it's even higher reliable in the sense that if a modular switch goes down, you can lose a lot of the throughput in, inside of the data center. And if a single top of rack switch goes down as part of um, you know, forming the virtual modular switch, you don't lose much of, uh, of the throughput. This week, uh, we're announcing the virtual modular switch solution that is uh, from Melnox, which is based on the Melnox top of rack switches. Uh, definitely the advantage uh, in, in, from the Melnox side is the effectiveness or the, 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 the more poor density you have in the top of rack switch, the higher the throughput you have in the top of rack switch. And, and today we offer 36 ports of 40 gigabit per second or even 56 gigabit per second. Uh, from the top of rack switch that enable us to offer a virtual modular switch that has much uh, higher number of ports or 40 gigabit Ethernet ports uh, to form the aggregation layer of, uh, of e the Ethernet uh, infrastructure. Um, so we have built a solution which uh, called the Melnox, which is called the Melnox Virtual Modular Switch Solution. It is based on Melnox Switch X2 silicon devices. Uh, the Melnox uh, Switch X uh, 1036 uh, switch box, and then we connect them using uh, OSPF and forming a virtual modular switch that gives you up to 720 40 gigabit Ethernet ports um, under 1,000 bucks per uh, 40 gigabit Ethernet port uh, uh, on the street for the user. Um, now, if you take that virtual modular switch and connect it to uh, racks, top of rack switches, and, and then to nodes, you can easily build 3,000, 4,000 node cluster that each of the server runs 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, uh, speed, for example. So it's a very cost-effective solution. Um, if we compare it to you know, other solutions that you can get from uh, leading Ethernet switch providers, um, so, you know, definitely the advantages are on the CapEx and OpEx. The Melnox Virtual Modular Switch reduces the cost by 60 to 85% compared to others. Uh, so uh, that's, that's a big uh, reduction, that's a big saving to the user. But as well as reducing the power consumption by 80% to 90% and reducing real estate, the number of racks that you need to uh, use in order to bring solution by 30 to 60 percent. So it's a, it's a huge uh, saving on both CapEx and OpEx. And on the other end, you get much higher performance. Uh, you get much lower latency. We're seeing differences between 33 percent and 93 percent lower latency utilizing the Monox uh, virtual uh, uh, modular switch solution. Um, 
the solution exists uh, pretty much today. Um, and people can go to the Monarch's website and look on the details of the uh, virtual modular switch. Um, how to manage that is being managed by uh, Puppet and Chef, which are based on open source configuration uh, management software, which means that you get uh, the full control of the switch itself um, and the, the full flexibility to uh, optimize, manage it correctly, and bring it to your infrastructure in the best, best available way. Um, a question about how the virtualization works. Is that hard-coded in the hardware, or is there a, a Mellanox software layer that makes that possible? Okay, so, so actually there is no virtualization here in the sense of uh, virtual software or things of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the solution is called virtual modular switch because it's not a modular switch in one big chassis as you go and buy, which right. uh, those are the expensive elements. We create a similar approach, a similar solution to a modular switch, by taking top of rack switches and connecting them together and running OSPF uh, for the routing and make those top of rack switches behave like a big modular switch. So that's why we call the solution virtual modular switch because it's not a real modular switch which is expensive and not flexible, but it's a virtual concept of it which is built by uh, using top of rack switches. Okay, so you, you get all the advantages of that modular solution w without the, the drawbacks, the, uh, the cost and uh, the power and the things like that. So uh, like, that sounds exactly. like the, Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Cool. So, so the virtual modular switch, it's a replacement for the modular switches, mm -hmm. which are much more expensive. Uh, they are not flexible at all, and you know, they can, the technology is, is outdated very quickly compared to others. Um, and instead of that, you can build the same thing and, and build your infrastructure or the, the internet data center using top of rack switches, connected them together, um, gain the, the, the higher reliability, gain the flexibility, gain the higher performance, and of course, you know, the bigger item is saving on, dramatically saving on CapEx and OPEX. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and so, uh, Glad, as, as, as uh, Ethernet moves forward to uh, 100 gig Ethernet, will, will this kind of solution, will that... Uh, be able to migrate to that kind of technology as well? Of course. The, the, the advantages in the virtual modular switch really depends on the top of rack capability, the top of rack switch capability. Yeah. Which means the, the, the higher the port density you have, the faster the speed you have there, the more effective the virtual modular switch will be. So from Melnock's perspective, we're taking advantage of our capabilities to have so many ports in a top of rack switch running 40 gigabit Ethernet or even 56 gigabit Ethernet and to form a very cost effective solution that reduce, uh, which has a cost reduction in, in um, uh, between 60 to 85 percent. Now, you know, once we go to the 100 gigabit per second, definitely there is going to be more advantages in that perspective. Uh, and then you can form a larger uh, virtual modular switch or even more cost effective. And then, Glad, kind of a wrap-up here, uh, you know, uh, this seems like a whole new way to uh, kind of lay out a data center and, and network. Do you, do you see this as a trend that people are going to, uh, they, they like this top-of-rack kind of technology? Do you think more and more data centers will, will head this direction? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and we see that not only, you know, by talking with uh, customers of us, but if you... Uh, uh, look into a recent analyst report that uh, examined the Ethernet switch market and look into the what happened in the sales. Then yes, the sales of uh, modular switches is on the decline. Yeah. Uh, and 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 on the other end, the, the sales of top of rack switches are is increasing very very fast. And one of the reason is because people is moving away from using those modular switches and instead going and taking advantage of top of rack switches and using them. Um, in order to form what uh, they need for the internet infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. Well, Galad, this is very interesting, and uh, I'd like to thank you once again for coming on the show today. Thank you very much, Rich. You're welcome. All right, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.